What's up guys, Jake with TNTAS. We're coming to another special, special video today. We are doing a first shots video on something that you guys have been excited about, the PSA crank. Now, this video would not have been possible if it wasn't for Josh here, one of the Joshes from Black Diamond Guns and Gear. Uh, this is actually his crank. He actually let me come out and try it out and shoot it for the first time ever. So thank you very much. I appreciate yeah, it. Man. Today, we're going to go over the PSA crank, go over all the specs and features. We're going to give you our first shots and first impressions on it. So uh, you can know and you can decide for yourself if it's a good choice for you. Let's see how she does. Look at this baby. Look at, oh my goodness. Hey guys, if you're like me, you're always browsing the internet looking for stuff and you may have your information out there without you realizing it. Hackers can use that personal information to steal your social media accounts, your bank accounts, everything. Steal your identity if they want to. Now I'm thankful because I don't have to worry about that because I started using this video sponsor and that is Aura. I really like Aura because it's got stuff like a VPN, antivirus software, identity theft protection, fraud monitoring, and even password management. Aura even found my personal information on the dark web. That's a bad thing. Now if you're like me, you're budget mind and you want to get the best bang for your buck. Now you can actually get all of this stuff, all the features for just $12 a month. But don't just take my word for it. Go to r.com slash tan tactical. Use a link down in the description for a free 14 day trial. That's r.com slash tan tactical. You agree? Try it out for yourself and see how she does. Look at that baby. She's going to sleep. She can rest easy with Aura. All right. So this is our First shots with the PSA crank. Safety. Safety third. Now, while I could go through all the specs and features and kind of stumble through them and try to tell you what I know about the PSA crank, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't really interested in one because the whole issue of having a 5.56 coming out of an eight and a half inch barrel. If it's okay with you guys, I'm gonna let Josh here, since it is his crank in the first place, I'm gonna let him talk about it and kind of go over all the specs and features, let you know what it's all about. All right, guys, so this is actually the first of several American-made cranks that are actually on the market right now. So let's start with just the tip here. I just like to call it just the tip. And tell us a little about this right here going on here. So this is basically like a, a crank-off booster. What it is is it all has to do with dwell time. Your, your gas port is actually in your front sight gas block, kind of like an AR-15. So because the barrel ends here, there's not a lot of dwell time to let those gases run the action of the firearm. So this creates back pressure to cycle the firearm. So this is your crank off booster. You have to have that in order to get this to function. It will function without them, just not as reliably. Okay, so maybe a suppressor would work or something a like that. A suppressor would, and yeah. I've seen a lot of people putting the new Putnik suppressor on them and it works fine with that. So you've got your typical front sight there. The rear sight's a little bit different, probably more like a crank, less of a AK-47 style. We got the Voodoo style wood furniture there as well. And you said that it comes stock with this trigger. You just polished it, right? Yes, sir. Back here, we've got the stock and, excuse me, I said stock. Yeah, it's not I'm a in, stock. <laughs> it's not a stock. Don't shoot my dog ATF, okay? SB Tactical made this design for people who had the M92s, M85s, smaller AKs that they wanted the traditional triangle stock look, but it be a brace. And that's the reason they did that. And it actually hinges here. It's 1913 actually on the 4.5 millimeter trunnion, but it actually hinges here. Yeah, let's talk about my folds. mistake I made there. That's how you're supposed to do it. Initially, when I first picked it up, so typically with like this kind of stuff, you have a button here, especially if you ever shot like a KP9, you'd press this button here, it's kind of stiff, and then you would try to fold it this way and you'd get stuck there. This is kind of important to point out because you may run across the same issue. See that? So, get a little bit close there. So you see it doesn't quite fold properly. What you have to do you have to actually lift up see that you have to lift up and that's how you fold it so the folding mechanism there's two folding mechanisms one that's right and one that's wrong and the reason they did that is because they wanted the bulgarian type four and a half millimeter folding trunnion for you guys who want to do a form one on these so all you'd have to do is knock that pin out put your registered stock onto your registered receiver and then now you have an SBR. So that's how PSA did that. They wanted it to where the, the end user could form one this and make it a short barrel rifle if they wanted to.
feels really good really good let's uh let's shoot a little bit quicker here There's no cast parts, so that's the neat part about it is PSA actually took the time to get these things fully forged. That way you don't have to worry about parts failing in the long run. Now, I have to be honest with you. When I was in school, I had a little bit of a learning disability. Forged is better overall. Would you agree? Yes, most definitely, because basically you're taking metal and you're forging it to a harder metal versus you just pouring metal into a cast and making a cast or even cutting it out or whatever yeah. yeah okay i'm not the most you know intelligent metallurgist but that makes sense to me that's okay uh, i did watch fortune fire though so that makes sense well i've actually got some brass ammo as well as some nickel plated ammo kind of curious to see how that is as far as reliability i do know that steel case is kind of no bueno right so far i've seen some reviews on people running these with steel case ammo and it seems like they do not like it i don't know if it has anything to do with the chamber maybe it has a wear-in period true russian cranks ak's should pretty much be able to chew up and eat anything you throw at it i agree with that but it is what it is it's a psa crank it's five, five, six. I mean, let's be honest here. We're kind of just doing the best we can at this point with all the blocks we have on imports and stuff going on. You ever done this before? Is this safe, you think? I've never really done this before, so let's see. But you go like this, right? <laughs> I can't, I've still got to learn the ways. she's short straight. Oh, come on, she's... It's not picking up around now. <sighs> Have we found a fault with the crank? I don't think you can bump fire. How am I supposed to live my Russian fantasies? This actually has an eight and a half inch barrel. It's not really desirable to push 5.56 five, out of an eight and a half inch barrel, but it sure is fun. Overall, I like it. It definitely seems like, uh, like just like a range toy though. Keep in mind, we're shooting at what, like maybe like 40 or 50 feet here. So we don't really have a good way to gauge the accuracy from longer ranges, at least not right now. From what I see online, with it being a shorter barrel, there may be some issues with accuracy. Okay, yeah, we're, we're just dumping the trash here. So, you know, it is what it is. And that's what it's been, is it's been a fun firearm since we've been shooting it. It's not chrome lined, so it is, I'm pretty sure, melanided coated barrel. PSA actually made their own triggers for this thing. Uh, it's super cool. They actually have some laminated wood. I wish that I got the one with a uh, plum furniture or the redwood furniture, but I ended up getting this voodoo furniture. It stays pretty traditional to a traditional crank, but again, it's American made. It's a neat thing that they've actually had a niche market that they catered to. Now, the only thing that kind of bugs me is it's 5.56, not 545. They're coming out with a 545 later on, but the 556 takes like the AK-103 mags. Now, the 103 mags are kind of iffy. I've got a plethora of 74 mags. I wish that this was actually in 545. That way I could shoot, you know, God's caliber out of this. Like we said, it's smooth. Uh, I had to polish the trigger a little bit. The trigger was kind of lacked in that department. Other than that, we've been shooting it and it's it's worked out pretty good. I'm just a monkey on YouTube that entertains people that don't really know what comes out of my mouth sometimes. You have trance? <sighs> All right, so my first shots, my first thoughts on the uh, PSA crank. What do I think about it? Well, how much is it again? So I think it's about 1100 bucks. So it's a lot. Honestly, to me, I kind of treat this as almost like a range toy. They call it crank, but it's more like crank-ish. You know, like it's right. got those vibes as like a Russian mafioso Bin Laden special, you know, that kind of crank vibe. But uh, it's 5.56, five, five, eight and a half inch barrel. And well, it's got some different stuff going because you can't really, you can't do the bump fire. Other than bump fire though, it was really reliable. I mean, yeah. brass case was fine, obviously. That nickel plate stuff we used was fine. We don't have any steel case out here, so we can't speak on that. So as far as like function reliability goes, it seems to be fine. I like the feel of it. I like the trigger. Everything about that's good. Those core foundational things 
are good about it. I just think it's a little bit expensive for what it is. I wish that, you know, I, I think it'll probably take them, you know, probably another three to six months before they come out with the 545 version. But I wish it was today. And they are talking about doing 300 blackout. That's gotta be somewhere near on the horizon. It's just probably a barrel swap to be honest with you. I think it's cool. You know, I told you earlier before we were filming that I'm not really in the camp of AR versus AK, but I definitely have a lot more experience with ARs than AKs. I feel like every time I mess around with an AK, aftermarket parts, all that stuff, it tends to, uh, not work out with they're, reliability. They're not very user friendly. And then you get like a Turkish one versus a Russian one versus a Romanian one. Like they're all a little bit different with their quirks. Yeah. I will say for me, because of that, I've always been kind of like steered away from AK power and stuff. But for this, for PSA to come out with an American made AK, even if it is chambered in 556, I think they did a good job. Yeah. I, I like it. That. I like it. Is it enough for me to like it to get one myself? Mm, not yet, because like I said before, and I always joke about, I'm kind of poor. That's yeah, kind of a lot of money, 1200 bucks. Kind of a lot of money for me to get something like this, especially when you can piece out like an AR with like an eight and a half or 10 inch barrel for a little bit less. It's definitely a vibe though. It's definitely a solid Russian vibe. And for that, I really do like it. So if you're looking for something, if you've been uh, part of the crank lore, the crank uh, mythology over the years and studied it, if you're looking for something to kind of replicate that same feel, I think this is a good choice. And for that, I like it. Again, I want to thank uh, Josh here and uh, Big Josh there from Black Diamond Guns and Gear for letting me come out and shoot this. Uh, it's definitely been a dream. I didn't think this was going to happen today, so very yeah, much appreciated. We're, we're glad you came out. If you want to support these guys, check them out on YouTube, Black Diamond Guns and Gear. Also, more importantly, check out FatTac.com. They've got great holsters and great gear for big guys like me, and check out what they offer because I guarantee you, you're gonna find some really good quality stuff on their website. Guys, that's gonna wrap today. Remember, if you show this kind of content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. What do you think about the PSA crank? Have you gotten one? Love to hear from you. We will see you next time. all the actual specs for him yeah let me re refresh myself here let me <laughs>